Hey Badass, welcome back to the Badass Careers YouTube channel. And if you are not subscribed already, what are you doing? We are all about helping you to build dream careers that you love, so you may want to stick around. Now today we are jamming on one of the topics that is so, so crucial for interview success. And this is the game changer that's gonna help you to convert interviews into job offers. And it's about how to make companies, how to make recruiters, how to make hiring managers think that you are the right fit. This very intangible notion of can't explain it, just wanna hire them because they're the right fit. They're gonna fit in around here. Now throughout my international corporate career in human resources and recruitment, I can tell you I have interviewed thousands of candidates and the job offer doesn't go to the most qualified, most experienced person of the interviews, it goes to the person who's best able to articulate their fit, best able to articulate their value add to the team, to the organization, and to the role. Now being the right fit is not just about your ability to do the job, it's a vibe, it's a chemistry, it's a perception, and let's be honest, it is subjective as hell. It's just this feeling that the team gets, like we'll enjoy having this person on our team, we'll enjoy having them around us when we go into battle, when there's highs and lows in business, we're gonna enjoy having this person on our side. So let's talk about some of the ways that you can influence that perception and really come across as the right fit. Now, if you want a whole heap of my best interview strategies that are gonna complement this video and take your interview mastery to the next level, I definitely wanna invite you to my free interview masterclass. I'm gonna link it down below. It is brand new. You probably haven't seen it yet, and it's gonna allow you to take that interviewing game to the next level and to really talk you through some of the things that people just aren't talking about when it comes to being successful in interviews. So definitely go and check that out because it is going to be so well worth your time. An hour with me can save you weeks of job search time. All right, so let's talk about some of the factors, some of the dimensions that are going to allow the recruiter and the hiring team to see you as the right fit. Now, first things first, it is just a prerequisite. You have to be able to articulate the fact that you're going to be able to nail this job. Even if you haven't done it before, even if you're a career changer, you know, articulating those transferable skills or articulating your experience in a way that's like, yep, don't worry, baseline, I am going to be able to do this job. To do this, you have to articulate the fact that you're a high achiever, that you go above and beyond, that you've accomplished and achieved really cool things. You want to show that you understand their pain, okay, the problem that they have to solve. Why are they hiring this position? Why are they wanting to spend tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars solving this problem? What is this person effectively going to be doing? And how do you know that you can do that? And of course, focus the whole way through on what you can do for the company, what value you can bring, not what they can do for you. Okay, so that's just prerequisite land of getting a job offer. Now let's talk about more so the intangible side of things around nudging that perception that you are the right fit for this specific role and this specific team. The first thing I wanna say is show that you love what they love. I want you to articulate right from the application stage, whether that's in your cover letter, in your resume, in the interview as well, that you are connected to the mission of this company, to the why, you believe in what they're doing, you believe in their product, you believe in their services. Maybe you have experienced their product or services, maybe you're a customer of theirs, maybe you've worked with a competitor, maybe you have some kind of connection that's linked to your convictions or your values or whatever it is. There's a reason this company interests you and you need to articulate that because you want to articulate that you have the same conviction, same values, and you're on the same journey together. When you have this contagious enthusiasm and energy, and it's clear that you love what you do, and it's what they do, it's like you found your people. It's like you've just found kindred souls, like-minded people who get each other. And it also shows a level of care and commitment. I know that when I was recruiting for Badass Careers, when people really cared about the mission Badass was on, when they really wanted to be part of that journey, when they wanted to help leave a legacy via the company, it was just such a cool feeling. I was instantly connected to that person because I knew that I could count on them to stay engaged, to stay resilient, and to be there, ready to go into battle when things did get challenging. And it's that camaraderie which is so exciting. 
Also, when it comes to loving what they love, speak about the future, speak about your vision or your perspective on the industry, on the company, where you think it might be going. Ask them about where it's going. Be excited about that. Visualize a future with you in it, with you alongside it. And that will also really help them to project you right there with them too. The next point I want to make is use their lingo, their language. Now you can pick up on their language in many different ways. You can pick up on it from the role description, really identifying the buzzwords, the keywords that they use. So for example, if you call yourself a customer service representative, but they call their role customer experience champion, use the lingo customer experience customer centricity, the experience of the customer, the experience of the consumer, etc, etc. Mirror the language that they're using. You'll also find a lot of useful language on their website, on their career site specifically. They may talk about their values. They may have interviews with employees. They may have social media highlights. They may have YouTube videos of, you know, a day in the life, working in this company, whatever it is, consume this information and listen to the kinds of things that they value. Do the employees always talk about, you know, being an entrepreneur, being a self-starter, really being able to take initiative in your role because you've got so much space and room to grow? Reflect that back in the interview. Speak how their employees speak. And I'm not talking about changing yourself to fit in or groupthink or anything like that. I'm saying if that triggers something genuine inside of you and you have stories to share on that, share them. Now, one of the best, best ways to make the interviewer see you as the right fit is to already sort of be one of the team. And this is through having a connection, a personal connection, being a friend of a friend. You know, when you suddenly have a friend of a friend, you instantly trust them, you instantly assume that they're a good person or they're good at what they do, etc. Now, if you can have an internal referral already, if you can go to the interview and say, I've actually spoken with a couple of employees and what I really love about the sound of the culture is this and this, or I was lucky enough to have a conversation or to meet Jack at a conference or whatever it is, if you're able to have taken that initiative and connected to real life employees, that is definitely going to play off in your favor. This is why proactively networking at companies that excite you is such a good idea. Right? Even when you get the call saying, hey, you got the interview, get on LinkedIn, connect with people in you know, adjacent teams and just say, hey, I've landed an interview. Would you mind just catching up for 10 minutes, 15 minutes over the phone so we can chat a little bit about the culture and I can understand a little bit more about the context that you're working in. Doing this, just taking that one step to go above and beyond will just be so, so priceless. Another thing you can do to influence this perception around your fit is to always link your interview answers back to the role. Now an interview answer framework that I love to use is Carl. I don't use star, I use Carl. It's this much better and this is why. It goes context, action, result, learning and the learning part is the game changer. This is when you can link it back. So when they ask you tell me about a time that your marketing skills were essential to the success of a project, you can give them the context, okay, what was the situation, what were the stakes, you know, what were you playing for, you can tell them about the action you took, you can tell them about the results that you got, and then when you share your learning, you can link it back to this role. So what I learned about that and what I would carry forward is X, Y, Z. What I would do differently next time is X, Y, Z. What I'd be excited to try in this role would be seeing how X, Y, Z would work in this context. So you're able to link back not just what you've done, but the way that you would apply it or the way that you would test it or the way that you would tweak it or how it might apply to achievement within this current context. Now, when you're doing that, it's like you're able to project yourself into this role several times throughout the interview because you're doing it in response to every single interview question. Every time you do that, you're placing yourself in the role and it's helping the others to visualize you there too. It also shows that you understand their pain points and you've got empathy for what the company needs you to do well and you're already starting to understand how can I be that person for you. Another great way to show off your fit for the role is to demonstrate their values. So do your research and understand what their values are. They're often listed on the website, or maybe you can infer them based on the information that you have on articles and so on and so forth. Now, what you want to do is strategically weave these into your cover letter, into your resume, and into your 
interview answers as well to create that perception again that you value the things that they value. So maybe something that they talk about over and over again as one of their core values, core cultural values, is the ability to take initiative. Now they don't need to ask you about a time you took initiative in the interview for this to come up. They could ask you about a time that you use your project management skills, right? But what you could do is answer in a way like this. I'm someone who loves to take initiative. So when I was pulled onto this project with tight deadlines, la la la. Just like that, you've planted a little seed, a little seed. And you do this over and over again, reflecting back their language, reflecting back their values. And again, it's planting the seed from a marketing psychology perspective, they're one of us. Another hack here to make sure that they're seeing you as the right fit is to interview them back. All throughout the interview, when they ask you interview questions, respond and then ask them the questions back. Not after every single question, but from time to time. So for example, if they ask you what your ideal management style is, respond, tell them about it, and then ask them how does it align with the management style that we can find around here. What this does is it balances the power dynamic and it allows you to have a more fluid conversation. Again, I'm speaking with a colleague, I'm speaking with a peer, I'm speaking with an equal, rather than I'm an interviewer and they're a stranger who I'm interviewing. Now, of course, one of the most surefire ways to be likable and to have the perception of fit is to work really hard on the connection element. This can be as simple as when they ask, how are you? You respond, you know, I'm really good, thanks. I've just been for a run. I'm actually training for a marathon or I've just finished reading this book or whatever that is. But, you know, trying to connect and be that much warmer and that much human and that much more open. You can use humor throughout your interview, show a bit of personality, try to be really bright and personable and engaging. This can be done through using storytelling techniques. For example, when you're answering your interview questions, rather than just a stale black and white answer, you know, really walking them through the story and the challenge you had to face and the problem you solved and the action you took and what you took away from it, like really being quite animated and interesting. And of course, working on your confidence here is primordial because your confidence is going to allow you to really feel natural and relaxed and just be yourself. And I know that's such frustrating advice to just be yourself, but it really is the best because you want to be hired for being yourself and therefore you don't want to have a mask on, you don't want to come across as rehearsed. And when you become over rehearsed or overly professional, it's going to be really hard for people to connect with you and get into the essence of who you are. So working on that confidence and mindset of, you know, I'm an awesome person, I've got a lot to bring to the table and I would be such an asset to this team and really feeling that and being able to relax into it is going to be an absolute game changer for this as well. Now this free interview workshop that I was telling you about has a lot of great tips around the mindset and confidence piece, so definitely check it out. Again, it's full of gold an hour and completely free, so definitely don't wanna miss that. Now my last tip for you when it comes to really coming across as the right fit for a role for a company is if they don't bring it up, bring it up. So when they ask you, do you have any questions? You can ask them from what you know of me and what you've seen of me today. Do you have any information gaps around my fit for this role? Then they can tell you if they've got any doubts or any gaps and you can address those on the spot. Another thing you could ask is what are the kinds of traits or characteristics that it would take to be considered really a perfect fit for this particular team. Again, based on their response, you can mirror back, respond back, and prove that you are that thing that they've been waiting for. So badass, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Let me know what your key takeaway, key learning was down below. If you have any questions for me, definitely drop those down there too. I read and respond to every single comment. And if you're big into career strategy and development right now, here are some other videos for you to keep binging. I hope that you enjoy. And otherwise, I'll see you back here every single week for some fresh content on the Badass Careers YouTube channel. Until then, stay badass, keep kicking those career goals, and we'll speak really soon. Bye!